Hello everyone, we are still carrying on with our work on language paper one question five. Um, we're going to look today at kind of a range of different skills, but really focusing on that crafting um, and developing kind of the effectiveness of your descriptions. Right, we've seen this before, but some of the things we, we're focusing on are ambitious vocab, structure, range of language techniques, varied sentences and punctuation. And today we're pretty much looking at everything other than structure in the work that we're going to be doing today. Right, really, really easy way to prepare for this creative writing question is to focus on the weather. I really, really advise that before you go in, sit an exam, sit a mock, sit an assessment, that you've sat and thought about how you could describe the weather in a really crafted way. Then pretty much whatever task you're given, you're just going to find a way to slot that really crafted, well thought through paragraph in already. It just means that I'm going into my exam extra prepared. I know a little bit of what I'm going to write before I do it. And I know that I've got a paragraph that's really, really successful. So that's what we're aiming for. With every task we've seen from A to A in any paper, it would have been absolutely the easiest thing in the world to slot in a paragraph about weather. Um, and that's why I like to focus on it. Okay, so here are some examples of the picture that candidates have been given for question five. For all of these, you can see how easy it would be to include a description about the weather. They're quite often based outside and therefore it's, it's always really, really relevant to be able to talk about the weather. Even if you'd decided to write a paragraph on a really lovely sunny day and you'd got um, this image, which seems to be in the darkness, that would have been absolutely fine because you'd just start off with a little bit of reference to that picture and then move on. Like I said before, there's no expectation that you focus exclusively on that picture or on that task. It's just a stimulus to get you started as long as you reference it once. Absolutely fine. Right, I've got some examples of, of paragraphs where writers have written about the weather. I'm not going to read it to you because you can read. So if you just pause this here, you can read through James Joyce's description of the snow. Here's another example um, from The Woman in Black. I really like this description of the fog. I think the fog is described really, really effectively here. Um, so again, pause this slide just to have a read through that, have a think about what's effective about it, what could we borrow from the description of the fog here. And then lastly, this is a, a Mrs. Stephen original description. It's the best one. You're just going to agree. It is by far the best one. Um, I don't know why I'm not a writer. I don't know why I'm here doing this. Anyway, um, read through it. Pause the, the slide. Read through it. What's good about it? What could you borrow from me? Okay, so here's your task for today, folks. It is about writing one paragraph that is super crafted and well thought through. You're going to have to decide whether or not you want it to be day or night and the type of weather that you want to focus on. There's a little bit of a checklist there at the bottom. Um, I've also attached a document with lots of different words and phrases that you might use to describe different types of weather. Feel free to borrow these ideas and incorporate them into your own paragraph. Don't need you to submit this to me, but as ever, more than happy to mark something if you want me to have a look at it. Hope everyone's okay.